Delio Maravilla Gambo Arantiria, is a former Colombian football player, was born on January 28, 1936 in Buenaventura, Val del Coca, Colombia and died on August 23, 2018. Gamboa's career ran from 1955 to 1974 in which time he played for Atletico Nacional Milan Arios, Independiente Santa Fe, once called as, and Deportes to Lima, Maravilla translates directly to wonder. Delio Gamboa signed with Atletico Nacional in 1958, after getting noticed playing in a aficionado national league. A year later, Gamboa was transferred to a football club named Cedillo based out of Mexico. He was considered to be their most important player for two straight seasons. He led O to be runners-up of the Mexican domestic league in his first season with the club. Delio took part in the 1961 Colombian national squad which qualified for the following year's FIFA World Cup. At the 1962 FIFA World Cup an injury limited Gamboa to just one appearance at said World Cup. Upon his arrival in Colombia to play in the 1961 qualifiers Delia joined Millenarios. He went on to play for Millenarios from 1961 to 1965. He won the Colombian Domestic League, now the Liga Agla title four straight seasons, 61,62, 63,64. 64. Delio had been given his nickname Maravilla when still an amateur, as number 10, inside left was the position called then, on the Val del Coca selection, which outclassed all other state teams and garnered the Colombian championship, stunning the spectators with his play which people thought nothing short of miraculous and Gamboa a wonder in the flesh. He briefly revived the nickname which Millenario's sides earned in the Di Stefano Peda Erna era, El Ballet Azul, the Blue Ballet, for its elegant and inartistic style of play. In the 1962 edition Maravilla and Los Imbagadores translating to the Ambassadors saw an early first-round exit. In 1963 they were matched up with continental football giants of that era in Garanches Botafogo and Alianza de Lima from Peru. They faced no better fortunes as they again were eliminated. Despite being eliminated early Maravilla and Minos would come back and win the domestic crown the following year. Though they had no title to show Millenarios led by Gamboa represented Colombia in the Copa Libertadores for four straight years and were thus nicknamed Los Embajadores. Although then came the injuries, at the end of the 1965 campaign Maravilla was sold to Independiente Santa Fe. Nonetheless Maravilla went on to win the domestic title with Santa Fe in 1966. Gamboa scored 33 goals in 76 matches for Santa Fe between 1966 and 1968. After the titles, wonderful play and the rash of injuries he spent the 1968-1970 seasons at once called as and then transferred to Deportes de Lima for the 1971 and 18,972 campaigns. Maravilla's career finally came full circle when he returned to the club that quite possibly saw his best form, Milan Arios in 1973 and ended his professional playing career in 1974. He later went on to be head coach for Deportes de Lima and then left to become the director of Millenario's youth system. Delio Maravilla Gamboa's innate skill led many to consider him the best Colombian footballer of the 1960s. Real Madrid scouted him but apparently his lanky, slight build deterred the European Millenarios from signing him. He was also widely admired for overcoming the economic and social discrimination and barriers imposed at that time, as well as the discrimination and barriers he faced due to his skin's complexion, all of which were evident in Colombia in that era. Which may be just another reason why Delio Gamboa was considered a maravilla. He died at 82 years old.